one day I'm gonna climb that mountain up there. By yourself? Are you crazy? We're gonna take on Smith's track. The uh, the mission is um, Friday morning. We're gonna leave from Smith's trailhead on Stony Creek Road. We're gonna park the car there, and we're gonna head up the mountain uh, through Smith's track and hopefully arrive at a Spiwa camping ground by Friday afternoon. And then um, we've got two extra days, Saturday and Sunday there. So I've planned an extra day for recovery just in case we're in pain and fatigued or whatever. And hopefully Monday morning we'll leave and head back by the Douglas track and then come back down the mountain the other way um, near the Barren Gorge. And then get to the car park and then cruise back to the car. So that's the plan. Um, things don't always go to plan. So yeah, I've uh, packed an extra day's food supply just in case and we've got everything else packed away. So. Yeah, we're ready to go. Hey, g'day. Good morning. Zane here. It's probably just a bit past 9 a.m. We're on the Smith track and uh, we're only just maybe 500 meters in. Road's just down here and we're already having a quick three to three minute break. So um, part of this stuff is, you know, go slow and steady. You pace yourself, you rush up here, you'll be buggered by a kilometer or two in and you'll be, you know, game over. So um, setting a target, we've found a little rock and it's like we just stop here for a sec, have a breath. Quick drink of water. Deep breathing, regain our balance and coordination and strength and ready to go. And that's where we're up here. We're going up that way behind me, so kind of steep, not too bad. Decent angle, that's about level there. So yeah, we're looking at 45, pretty much as I said, about a 45 degree angle. So yeah, again, that's level, that's what we're traversing so yeah about 45 degree angle that's about the elevation where we're going so we're probably about one third up the mountain so far so far we're doing pretty good a lot better than i thought we're feeling the pain it's definitely, it's definitely a physical and mental test here but so far so good just stopped because guess what I just heard the Coranda train I was like that has to be a train yep kind of amazing train to be honest um from memory like 100 over 100 people died constructing it. I can't remember I'll have to check all that or somebody can fact check for me but yeah from a memory a lot of people died trading that train track having lunch break made the top of the mountain bloody choppers everywhere don't know what's going on they're probably looking for us <laughs> we're not really 100 percent sure we're starting to flatten out the track now but we're not 100 percent sure if it's going to be flattened like that forever so we'll probably have a half hour break and sandwich already drank a bit over a litre and a half now already just by, my, by myself as you see, you got the shirt off, loving the beautiful weather. Hilda's over there chilling. So yeah, we made the top of the track here and hopefully it all gets easier from here. Disaster strikes. Lost the soul. It's still attached. But yeah, these are um, these are called Rachler uh, from Switzerland. They're Swiss hiking boots. 
I got them from an op shop because I know the, the brand and how good they are from their reputation but they've been um, rebranded now I can't remember but yes yeah, so we've had a bit of a crisis and uh, who cares we'll just keep marching on it's not gonna affect me and um, luckily there's an inner sole there for the waterproof features of these shoes so if that falls off I'm still gonna be I'll still be good for that but the trails the cop it's give, it's given us a bit of a beating so far anyway back onto the journey gonna chew some black pepper I'll get a fresh red one they're a little bit uh, under ripe seeds haven't fully developed Ooh. got a very lemon scent, like lemon scent to it and um, tastes like Szechuan pepper Chinese pepper even though I don't think Szechuan peppers are vine, different species. Pretty cool, that's the biggest vine I've ever seen though. Definitely can't get up. Oh my god, I slipped over. First time I've fallen over all day. And I don't think I can get up. I think I'm literally locked in. <laughs> Another problem. Problem strikes again. So yeah, my shoe's coming a bit loose, unfortunately. Look at that, it's gone. At least I've got some uh, backup tread there. I wouldn't call that tread, but comfortable sole. These are awesome boots, but um, they're just really old school. Anyway, we're still going uphill, as you can see. We're pretty steep. I thought we are at the top by now, but yeah. Still got some distance to go. We're doing good though. We're in the rainforest. Oh, see. We just got rid of past the sclerophyll woodland. But we're rooted. So freaking rooted. Oh. Both of us. But yeah, so apparently we, we crossed one person on the way. Some fella overtook us. He didn't have. 15, 25 kilo pack on him, <laughs> but he's used to this track. So I asked him, I was like, oh, how far to look at, mate? He's like, oh, you're not far off. And from now on, we'll go up and down. We're like, yes, that's what I want to hear. Oh, what's that? Sorry, oh, the insects grab him. Hang on, I'll just put that dude, whatever he is, away. Get off, dude. Keeping our food and energy is really good. It's just, uh, Hilda was telling me the calves are sore now. And my thighs are killing me. <laughs> and my shoulders are hurting a little bit here just from the pack rubbing, but it's nothing. So far, so good. So we made Toby's lookout. Over there is the, uh, the train train track and Douglas track over there as you can see and down below in that gully is um, Stony Creek itself Stony Creek now, absolutely beautiful here, eh? Amazing. Look at this for a view. In the world, beautiful. G'day, um, we're, yeah, we're just about to go down to Stony Creek Falls now. We come from up there, 
literally that's how vertical it is. As you can see. That's our track behind us. You can hardly even see it. And that's what we're going down. Let's brace myself down that. So yeah. Track looks great, doesn't it? Okay. <laughs> what do you reckon about that track, Hilda? Shit. It's shit. It's like it's, it's the most hardcore it's track. track. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're doing good. Taking our time, as I said, we're taking a lot more time than I thought we would, but we thought we had it easy from here on and then we got to this point we're like, holy shit. This is hectic. So uh we're just about to get down that. I only had one minor slide so far and thankfully the pack stopped me from going anywhere. Yeah, so um, we've just reached this point now. As you can see, we've got to look out here and all that. And another cliff point. But um, we've got to get down this steep bank. So we're going to take the packs off and try to pass the packs down. It's going to be hectic. This whole trek has been absolutely hectic so far. Um, yeah, we lost all the markings and we're just basically following other trails and pegs and walking along the sides of cliffs with you know, all this weight on us. It's just crazy. Yeah, you got to be up for this stuff. Hey, but um, I think we're, we're doing good. So we um, took a wrong turn. <laughs> what a great day. We were meant to be supposed to be up there, but um, we came down the hill and it was like, there's no way you can get through that. And the track kept on leading back down this way. So we followed the track that was there. One went right, one went left. We're like, well, look, we're going left, we're going west, so I'm not going east. So we followed that track and um, we ended up in this little gully here, Stony Creek Falls. And uh, big view out that way of the Barren Gorge and everything, or the Barren Gorge is around the other side, sorry, that's the Stony Creek Gorge. So yeah, what we've done is we've just gone, look, let's set up, it's 3.30, or it was 3 o'clock when we did that, we're like, look, it's 3 o'clock, um, let's set up here and go for the night because it looks pretty impossible to get up through that. So, all up there is just complete cliff, all up there on that side, as you can see, it's just cliff. Down that way is just a big drop of a waterfall. Up that way, we can't get up there, so we have to go back around this hardcore, like literally that's hardcore, past each other the pack. Like, yeah, you'll go, you take that. Grabbing all the ropes, and oh god, yeah, so it looks like it'll be our campsite for the evening. So tomorrow we're going to reassess if we can actually get back up and over if we have the energy. Um, it depends on mental strength, physical strength, endurance. We could be copping it tomorrow and like thighs and shoulder pain and things like that because it was a pretty hectic trek. It was way, it was gruesome. Yeah, you read stuff on the net and bloody, everybody's got a different story and a different map actually. Hey, it's an adventure, why not? And things, shit goes wrong when you go on an adventure. So all you gotta do is you can improvise and um, plan ahead and you know, and keep a positive attitude. So I know people in my life that have been around me and they've got a negative attitude, I won't mention names and stuff, but you know, because they may change one day in life. But um, basically, you know, a negative attitude, oh, we're stuck here, oh, this sucks, blah, blah, blah. you know, we're meant to be up there camping, we paid for the campsite, blah, 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 you know. So sometimes in life you've got to accept what happens and, you know, it's a fact of life and I've been through a bit of PTSD and so this year, you know, fatal traffic accidents and stuff. So for me, this is still an achievement, you know, we've done really good. <laughs> I can't believe Hilda. Wow, <laughs> I don't think any of my, some of my mates would have gone around those cliff sides with, like that, you know. Ooh, we were very safe and steady, but yeah, um, if I hadn't had this experience, I wouldn't be doing it. Anyway, we've got to go put this fire out because it's spreading a little bit. <laughs> Exciting times. So this is what I call nature's refrigerator. It's uh, about nine degrees in that water there, the temp, and uh, should keeping our water cool and the pineapple juices so I've got a source of vitamin C tomorrow morning. Um, I think
could get bush food and that, but you know, take a couple of poppers, that'll do. So yeah, and in that one we got I got frozen um I got bacon actually, hey, frozen up with ice. Because I was thinking to myself, who gets to have you know who gets to have bacon? I do. I get bacon for breakfast tomorrow. Nice and dark out here tonight, so going to bed, sleep with, um, with the seasons, and um, yeah, get a nice relaxing sleep tonight by the waterfall. Feeling pretty blessed. So, uh, have a good night, everybody. I'm out of here. Yeah, it looks pretty damn good, eh? Yes, yeah, so it's about 9.15 and um, we just packed up our campsite, as you can see, that's where our tent was and nice little spot. Leave no trace. Um, really important, we've got our bin over there, so we're going to take our bin with us. But, um, you know, I've been told by the elders and various tribes, Kukuyalanji and Ngunji and Jabalgai around that's around my region here or our region in Cairns and a bit north of Cairns So yeah, as uh, I've been saying leave no trace So uh, I've just done a bit of a loop around here and made sure that we haven't left any little bits of plastic or Rubbish or any evidence of man-made presence. The only thing we do have as you can see is a fire pit And um, yeah, so that's about it Anyway, so we've got to trek back today. We've got to go back over this way here and around the corner and then back up this rock and hopefully find the track that just stopped and disappeared and went left instead of straight ahead so we can end up the top of that waterfall up there. And we're supposed to pass somewhere up there along here through this ridge up the top here and up the Spiwa over that way. Probably, I'd say about there, judging by the, the way the helicopter was floating, uh, flying last night. So yeah, we've got a bit of a mission, but um, we're feeling pretty good actually, eh? So, here we go. So yeah, we're just leaving Stony Creek Falls and we got to the uh, first little checkpoint where pack gets off. Hilda, you might want to take your pack off. No. No? You're just going, what? Say it again. Going up like this. <laughs> You're hardcore. So that's a pretty steep drop there, as you can see, pretty much a vertical drop. Lucky somebody's put a rope there. Um, yeah, yesterday we took the pack off and Hilda passed it down to me. I put it in one spot, moved to the next, grabbed the pack. But yeah, that's pretty much vertical, so um, I'd say that's for extremists, <laughs> military enthusiasts, crazy people like us, or like me, sorry Hilda for dragging into that, my world. But yeah, we've got to go up around there, then we've got to go around another cliff, we just got around this little cliff here, and then up and over this big rock, and hopefully back to the waterfall. Wish us luck, and save your energy.
Go. Oh. So that's what we've got to go up. There's the track. See, we followed this track and it goes over there and across the rocks over there. And then you go pretty much over the other side and then back up here, zigzag all the way up to the top of that. Right, so um, here's our track we were following yesterday. And we got to this point uh, here and there's an orange marker there, just on that tree, and then another orange marker down here further. So we was like, okay, we'll follow the track that's there because that doesn't look like a track there and there's no other tracks to the left. So we're following the markers and then there's a big steep drop like that and Hilda's seen a little pink one right down there, so 10, 15 metres down the drop. So we're like, okay, well, yeah, that's where we're going. And we ended up into a sacred site. Um, I assume it's a Jabugai sacred site and a bit sceptical about staying in places like that, but uh, got a good vibe. A blessed, a blessed vibe. I feel like we were led there for a reason. Um, but you yeah, now, so we backtrack about 100 meters, I'd say that way. We've looked to check the map and the GPS, and then a sharp turn left. So we'll have a little break when we get up there, work out where our path is, try to find the track. But yeah, no markings, nothing. So we'll put in some feedback and um, see if we can get this track a bit of improvements done here, so people aren't treading going down to the sacred sites and things like that, like I'm sure the Jab Guy elders would appreciate. I felt a bit bad, you know, doing that, but at um, the same time, that's just because I know the law I've been taught that, so, you know, the vibe was good, but um, I felt bad just because we're staying in a place, but you got no option. So um, it was about three o'clock and it's like, look, we can keep trekking off where we don't know. Let's get to water, let's set up camp. Let's be safe, let's be smart. So we did good and we just got through that hectic friggin' steep cliff climb and as Hilda said it was like oh that was a lot easier than I thought it'd be you know because it was pretty gruesome getting down there and it's been an experience and an adventure so that's the uh gundle gundle train i hope my pronunciation my jabagai pronunciation is um correct but yeah what we've done is we've just backtracked on our track here as you can see, there's our path, and we've found the two little orange markers. So there's one there to the right, just there, and there's one there to the left, and that's the way we went. And there's the way we're supposed to go with a little pink marker around the corner. We're going to Spiwa, the dude told us it gets steep, so you know, we're following those markers. I didn't realize that's an arrow pointing left. Go left. Go left, you know, like that. <laughs> so yeah, so that's where we went wrong. That's where we should be going. This way.
So this is uh, Spider City. We just stopped to have a break because Hilda was crazy and ran ahead. Two, three hundred meter run. And then, yeah, she was buggered out of energy. Just looking at this uh, species of ant. I don't know what that is. And um, Spider City, like an apartment. Everybody has its own little level all the way to the top. And they're all just chilling in there. As you can see, there's one in here. Can you see the spider? Ooh. So we made it finally. The maps threw us off. Um, yeah, that Queensland government map, it does say not to scale, which I was conscious of, but it totally threw us off. So that way there, Gundar Wandun track, that goes back to a uh, Douglas track in the Glacier Rock. See that, Douglas track 1.5K. We're going to Kadagi Corner. So uh, basically Hilda and I are having um, noodles and a little break. That was absolute hectic, that bit there. So um, <clears throat> coming up that hill again, we're still sore. Yeah, so we're just making up some noodles on the track and cassowary shit everywhere. So uh, I'm a bit conscious of that. It's dry. Wow, you like rock. junction now. Bloody cockatoo has been following us the whole way. So yeah, we can choose to go that way. Stony Creek Road which leads back up to the campground or we'll go the campground this way via the track. And my little cockatoo friend up there has told us which way to go. Um, it's been really strange. He's been with Hilda and me. At first we're like, how could that be the same one? It has to be. We've been watching it follow us. Yeah, very strange. Little cassowary shit here. Um, I'd say that's candle nut there, and um, fig and other guys. But Hilda just noticed this juicy little entrail, literally entrail, entrail, a snail. Poor guy went through the digestive system and the cassowary. I'll move there. Remember, I've got one side and I have to lose the second side. We made it. Hilda, are you alive? <laughs> we made it. So yeah, campground's up the top there. We just gotta follow the road now and up the just up the back there, but we made it. Woo! Feels damn good. What do you reckon Hilda? Yeah! <laughs>